what's going on guys i'm manny welcome back to the channel uh today uh we are starting another uh amazon relay uh 13 hour contract shift uh today i'm actually uh, doing a round trip to katy texas and back uh to san antonio and then doing another drop and hook out here in the san antonio area to finish out the, the route uh the last few days i've been monitoring the uh san antonio area load board and it's definitely looking a lot more promising than it has ever been in the last few weeks and this is a good this is a good thing uh it's a good thing because it shows that uh, a lot of these loads are actually sitting on the load board a little bit longer and it's letting the system it's letting the system go up on go up on the on the price a little bit right because the the load board is pretty much an ai system so as long as no one grabs these loads at a lower rate some of these loads are going over the two dollar per mile which you which you want to see um i mean just last night i've had the uh, i did a the loretto round trip uh for for around the highest cents dollar and cents per mile that i've had in a long time i think i had it at got it at a dollar 93 and um it went up to two dollars and something the issue with when it comes to multiple of the same loads you don't want to be the last person to grab the last load of those multiple loads that are the same route. Uh, when it comes to that, you know, the AI system has like a backup. You know, that's why they put out so many of the same loads. It's like a backup in case either either a driver doesn't show up or a driver gets a breakdown or something. Then at least the other person booked it. So that's why um, multiple of the same loads may pop up. And usually in my case, I've done the, the alert Loretto round trip route so many times that if you're the last one to book anything going to a Loretto round trip, you have the highest chance of cancellation because uh, either they put everything on one trailer for the person before you or everybody showed up on time. Um, and that was the case uh, last week uh, for one of my Loretto round trips. I, I booked it and I was the last one to book that route. That was the same route posted multiple times. And um, I had it, you know, I just got the cancellation fee. So just a heads up when you guys see multiple of the same trips, you know, book it at a comfortable rate, but don't be the last one to book, book that, that load because you have the highest chance of cancellation at uh, once you show up. I'm parked here and I just got the notification that my trailer is ready about 15 minutes early so we're gonna go ahead and go to the door and uh, go hook up to the trailer let's see we're at door dock 140 so that will be right in front of us actually so yeah let's see it from right here It's gonna be this very first blue trailer right here. Uh, last four is 32.48. Yep, that is our trailer. So we're gonna go ahead and do like a U-turn here and get right underneath it. I finally got the first trailer in a while that I don't actually have to go out, go outside and lower it. Well, let me get out there, start hooking everything up. Trailer is all set to go, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and head to the checkout gate and uh, get on the highway. Now it's almost 3 p.m. San Antonio time, and. Uh, it's gonna be a time where traffic is starting to pick up. Uh, so I'm gonna let the video roll as soon as we get out of here, just so you can get some scenery of what this area is like. I, this is one of my hotspot areas to check in and check out trailers because I'm so close to the house. My deadhead miles is very, very minimal. Uh, so today they actually called me twice today for a yard jockey shift out there in Pflugerville which is 72 miles, 70, 
72 to 75 miles north of San Antonio and uh, they called me about uh, 5 a.m. they needed somebody there for a seven hour shift immediately and uh, I said no uh, you know because I have you know a contract shift later today as well as even if they were gonna give me the hundred dollars an hour for a seven hour shift that drive is an hour and a half north and an hour and a half back home so that's three hours so a seven hour shift turns into a 10 hour shift and that's pretty much at my contract time anyways um, as well as the rate was only seven hours so that's seven hundred dollars but remember the fuel going up there and back I, I probably am gonna net six hundred dollars for the day six hundred dollars for the day is still good but at that point, with the time being spent driving up there, seven hour shift driving back, I'm gonna just do this route that I have here, which is, you know, I'm starting by the house and I'm going 380 mile round trip and finishing by the house. Uh, and my net is still 522 for the day, uh, plus fuel surcharge. So you gotta pick and choose your battles. Um, and then after this morning, they actually called me again uh, like at, at 11 o'clock or something like that and, you know, for the same location and stuff so obviously somebody you know nobody they didn't find anybody to cover the shift uh, and it, they needed seven hours pretty much so it just shows that you know they will call you if you're reliable and you know you're relied upon and you're the only carrier that goes up there uh, which I wouldn't have had a problem going up there it's just that I'm not gonna go up there for seven hours when my contract is gonna be the same time, drive time, and almost the same rate as what my contract is. Now, if it was, um, if I was off during my contract, if it was an off day, then yeah, I would've went up there. Uh, and I would've, you know, I, would, I would've went up there for some extra money. Um, but it is a contract uh, work day for me, and I didn't wanna cancel, uh, and it really wasn't gonna benefit it well, was going to benefit uh, $75, if anything. Uh, you can save $75 on fuel, uh, depending on where you fill up. And at that point, it was really a time thing. You know, the times uh, and the, uh, the driving up there. And the time that I was going to drive up there, I was going to hit peak traffic in the morning going through Austin, which wasn't even ideal. Like, I don't want to go through Austin at peak traffic. That is the worst time to be driving through a city during peak traffic time and um, you know you want to be heading up there early in the morning or at night time or something like that but to be driving through that Austin traffic it's just not promising just to give you guys a heads up very very not promising so you know I st I'm gonna stick this one out cuz I'm by the house and I'm gonna finish by the house and you know uh, you know, you got to take the consideration to your your rating, you know, your rating on your dashboard on your account. Your rating on your account is everything, you know. You got to be careful with cancellations and you want to keep that rating as high as you can you can get. Right now my rating is at like a 92.7 or something like that, but that's because I canceled uh, two blocks like 2 weeks ago. So I'm waiting, you know, I got to just give it some time for my account to go back up get it back up to a hundred and then I can risk a cancellation here and there uh, so
All right, guys. So we made it uh, to our uh, second stop in uh, Katy, Texas. Our trailer to go back to San Antonio is actually ready. Uh, so we're ahead because I'm not supposed to be out of here for another um, Man. Oh, they changed the time on me in 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, no, no. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're... The trailer's ready. The issue is, is that... Um, I'm gonna hook up to the trailer. Ew, I'm gonna drop this trailer, hook up to the next one. But I need to warm up my food and uh, eat my salad real quick before I just leave. Because um, as soon as we get to San Antonio, we're gonna be waiting pretty much early um, on Foster Road to take a trailer to stop San Antonio. It was a whole lot of traffic, man, like coming over here. A whole lot of traffic. That's why I prefer driving at nighttime because dealing with that traffic coming, you know, coming uh, towards Houston is just something else, man. I mean, I'm happy that my trailer is ready. So I guess this is just the drop and hook and I'm out of here. But I need to warm up my sandwich and I'll eat that real quick get out of here because uh, you know it's already dinner time and stuff and when you're driving 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 you gotta you know make sure you take care of yourself because I know you could forget to eat sometimes because you're just so worried about the delivery time and stuff like that All right, dock door 207 uh, you can see it there uh, I need to go outside
trailer is good to drop. Parking spot 821. Two five three eight three. This is our trailer. Parking spot eight twenty one. Put power steering fluid in today. I went to autos. Uh, autos on to pick up power steering fluid, um, but I'm still leaking power steering fluid.
gonna pull up to the front on the other side. We'll go ahead and warm, warm up my food. And we'll get out of Katy, Texas, head back to San Antonio. Get back to the house. get to the other side, warm up this food, and get out of here. 